pace. She'll go up and has the ball turned over here as it's tipped away by Rule. Now Monahan, clear lane there, layup up and good. The Hawks for the first basket of the game. Trouble, skip out here over the corner. Wide open three on the left side. Monahan up and good, and we're tied nine. Balloon now to Woods. 16-footer Woods up and good, and the Hawks with the lead again. Five of six, another three on the way from Monahan off the rim. It's going to be rebounded here by Valu. She'll go into Woods. Woods gets the basket, gets some contact, no foul call, but they're looking underneath to go to Franklin. Franklin, little scoop move underneath, and a nice job there to avoid the hands of Bree Love. Now with it, skip pass. Valu, clean look, three on the way, up and good. First basket since return for Sarah Valu. Bazed in, checks in, and the Hawks try to force that one now. Monahan, right wing three, and she answers a little bit of this VCU run. The ball and the lead. Underneath to Franklin, she'll go up, her layup, catches the front of the rim and fall. Over to Rule, left wing. Fioravanti, double team. Nice job there. Get to cutting Crystal and Bazed in and get the righty layout. It's saved by VCU and the Hawks. Nice job going in transition. Rule finding Fioravanti. Underneath here to Fioravanti, nice cut back door, and a good look that time by Chelsea Wood. And now 15 on the shot clock. Monahan step back, three on the way, good for Alyssa Monahan. On the clock, as, as they go underneath here to Woods. Woods layup, good, and the foul called here on VCU. Here with St. Joseph head coach Cindy Griffin, following the Hawks 64-58 win over VCU. Start with an opening statement. Uh, yeah, I thought uh, we, we played a very good team today, and I was proud of the way our kids came out and started and finished. Um, you know, there was some resistance. VCU is a very good team, and our, our kids kept um, making plays defensively more so. Um, you know, we, our offense, we, we didn't shoot the ball extremely well today, but despite that, we were getting stops down the other end. And, um, you know, that's how far this team has grown, and, and we continue to... Uh, to, to execute when we need to execute uh, on both ends of the floor. Very proud of the way they played today. Yeah, it seemed like anytime VCU kind of got a little bit of momentum, you guys got a big stop or a big basket one way or the other. Just talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I think this, you know, I think it's, it's, it's where we are in the season. You know, we've, we've, um, we've lost some close battles early on and we've learned from them and we continue to um, look at some different looks. You know, I, I like the way that they been shooting the ball. I like the way that Monahan's shooting the ball. Um, you know, we had five assists uh, fr from Amanda today. She had six the other game. So, you know, we're sharing the ball very well. We're getting the looks that we want to get. And uh, they, they're not always going in, but as long as we take good shots, it's going to help us on both ends of the floor. And then in the final minute, closing out the game, you get a big three-point play from Chelsea Woods and then getting it done from the foul line. Yeah, terrific. I mean, you know, Chelsea is a very talented player and, um, you know, we, we use Chelsea in, in, in any way that we can. Uh, we know that she's a finisher and she's, she makes tough finishes. You know, it's not easy for a 5'10 post player down underneath to play in this league and she continues to battle uh, night in and night out and come up with some great plays for us.